Hey, Dan Cochimillo here along with Lou Marston for NorCal Sports Network. Golden State Warriors wrap up after they get blown out tonight or last night, I should say, now that it's a few hours after the game. Blown out against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Lou, it was pretty ugly. Cavaliers were 14 of 20 from three points in the first half. Yep. And uh, Warriors were not so good fortunate to put it in the hoop tonight um they were down by 41 at one point pretty ugly i think you just wrap kind of put this game to say you know you're three and zero on the road trip you're on a tough road trip you just got you just beat the world champs on their home court and it was a natural letdown game Cavs were nine and oh going into the game And they were hearing noise. Oh, the Warriors, the Warriors, the Warriors. And Kenny Atkinson, former assistant coach with the Warriors. Now he's got the Cavs at 10-0. and The Cavs look like they wanted to come out and make a statement. What do you think tonight? Yeah, I mean, definitely I think the Warriors sleepwalked uh, to begin the game. And I think when you're on the road and you play a great team, they they got hit in the gut. I mean, you know, the Warriors were sort of a step behind. I mean, it's not too often you've seen a team, and I can't remember a team score 83 and a half. I mean, you know, normally it's 50, but they scored 83. Um, and the Warriors were down at one point, 41. You know, forget about the second half where, you know, it's very hard to play a full game when you're up 41. Second half, Cleveland wanted to make sure they weren't injured. I thought Kerr did a lot of things tonight that might help the Warriors in the long run. He didn't really call timeouts. He wanted to see how his team uh, this handled the, the first game where They were down. They were getting outplayed. They ran out hustled. And Kurt said, let's see how this team works. Let's see what they're going to do. You know, I think what really the big sign was our big starters, you know, uh, for the Warriors were minus 25, 23, and 24. Um, and you don't see that too often, you know, the plus or minus. And, you know, they were just outplayed. And was it's only one game. Remember, yeah. you know, let's it's take a look at the box. And, you know, I, it'll be interesting to see how they come back on Sunday where they go to Oklahoma. So, you know, right. the Warriors have played great. I think they've had a lot of, uh, you know, they played Boston, still a big win, but without their best player. Cleveland was hungry and they just got outplayed. It's one game, but, you know, Cleveland was a better team and Cleveland was at home. You know, the Warriors, this is their right. fourth game of the road trip. They might be getting tired. And it happens. You know, it's the yeah, NBA. I think, I think if there was a couple of positives uh, to tonight's game, it would be that uh, DeAnthony Melton came back off the uh, injured list and he played 18 minutes. He uh, had 10 points. He was two of six from three point range. Nothing great, but, uh, and I thought Jonathan Kaminga looked pretty good. He had, uh, you know, spurts out there. He, he made some nice threes from distance. And um, Odds was back in playing, coming off of an illness. And, um, you know, he was uh, out there hustling. The, you know, not a lot of great things out there. I mean, the Warriors were completely, you know, out-rebounded tonight on the, uh, on the board. Uh, let me get rid of that. Um, you know, it just... It was just an ugly game. And yeah. and you got to give Cleveland credit. I mean, yeah. you know, yeah. they were hitting everything from the outside. And then when the Warriors tried to adjust to go to hit the threes, you know, they had Mobley in the middle. They were getting easy layups, easy layups. I mean, I just saw tonight, you know, our leading scorer through the season, except for Curry. Buddy Heald only took four shots. So I think what Cleveland yeah. did is they said, listen, we're going to concentrate on Steph and we're going to concentrate on Buddy Heald. Let somebody else beat us. And, yeah, you know, and that could the be the recipe. Just, you know, and again, the other thing is the Warriors got sloppy. You know, yeah. some yeah. long that passes could... against good teams are going to be you. It happens. Well, yeah, Cleveland's long. Cleveland's long. Yeah. With, I long mean, and got... athletic and quick. Yeah, yeah, and I, I fully expected them to lose tonight. I did not expect the Warriors to really be in the game too much. But I didn't expect them to get down 41. You know, um, I figured 
it would be a 10 point loss tonight just because Cleveland is, you know, like you said, they're on their home court warriors, you know, a little bit of a natural letdown and, yeah. and Cleveland is good. They're one of the top two teams in they're the East. I think. Yeah. I mean, it's them, Boston, the Knicks, one of those three teams is going to come out of the Eastern conference this year, most likely the Celtics, yeah. but, I think the the uh, Cavs are going to give th- some other teams in the Eastern Conference a run, and um, you know, I'd love to see a battle them battle the Celtics. It's still early, but they are very, very athletic and uh, quick, and they've got shooters. They've yeah, got some oh. really good shooters. Yeah, I mean, and and then you 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 got you know their guards Garland and Mitchell, really solid. They uh, they are a very and good that team. D Wade guy, of course, not Dwayne Wade, but D Wade. Right. I mean, yeah. my God, every time you'd have, you know, you'd just solid, great players that don't hurt themselves. Right. And I think, you know, the one thing about the Warriors now is let's see how they bounce back. You know, they're playing yeah, they the number have... one team in the West, Oklahoma City at Oklahoma. This is sort of a big test, and I think Kerr's probably excited, saying, "Okay, guys, we got to come out." We got to come out on fire because I think they sort of sleepwalk, especially after Boston. It's just natural, yeah. you yeah. know. And they got they got. I mean, it was over by the beginning of the second quarter. Oh yeah, you know? it was it, it was, was twenty one to it was twenty one to two at one point. Yeah, it was and a you, twenty they, twenty nothing run. I mean, yeah, they they were pretty the much the Warriors are the one doing the run. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty much done, and you yeah. can kind of feel it getting further away. You know, the Warriors tried to get back into it, but the, the you know. Look, the NBA, it's a it's a make or miss league, right? Yep. And tonight the Cavs were making everything. Everything. And the Warriors were not hitting very much at all in the yeah. first half. And, you know, when a team goes 14 for 20, that's 42 points. Just and what was worse is at one point, points. I think they were 10 for 12 from three point. I was yeah. at a, I was at a place called Capos, and every time I looked up, it, and they weren't like in and out, you know. They were no, they all were they were dead swishes. Dead swishes, and it didn't yeah. matter who was shooting them. It was unbelievable. Yeah. It, even Ty Jerome was bombing away. Yeah. Former Warrior Ty Jerome was knocking threes down. Yeah. So you just you just write it off and you say, okay, you know, hey, before this trip, we said if they can go two and three, it's a yep. fairly success. They've already had a successful winning successful road trip. trip. They're, they're three and one. Now you go to Oklahoma City, where last year they had four unbelievable tight, close games against yep. OKC. The Warriors could have won all of them, frankly, but uh, they, I think they lost, what, won one? I think they went one and three against us. But they OKC led in all four. Year. What's that? They yeah. And, all and four games. And two of, the, two of them at the end, all they had to do is take uh, a yeah. foul. And so that, you know, they couldn't make the three point play. And, and they're very high Oakland. end. Cleveland. Cleveland wanted to run. The Warriors tried but couldn't do it. So this is a big – I think this is, might be the first, you know, a super test to see this team, you know, to see how it works with 12, 13 deep, see how they bounce back. They're going against probably, you know, maybe right now Cleveland is the best in the East, and then you're going to be going against the best in the West. Right. And we'll see how we compare, you know. And, yeah. you know, the other thing too is after they do this, they then have a very emotional game. On Clay Tuesday Thompson night, and when, the where, uh, of course Clay comes back, and Dallas, who was in a you know tussle tonight with Phoenix, you know, but NBA, you know, this is what makes the NBA. You know, it's good to yeah. see the Warriors are at this level, and you know, I know even though we have a little friendly wager, you know, tonight was good to see, and I'd love to see how the Warriors bounce back. Absolutely, know? and you guys, know? Uh, you know. Uh, as you're watching this, it'll be Saturday. So tomorrow night on Sunday after Warriors OKC, we will be after the final buzzer come right on to NorCal Sports Network. We will be live with the post game show immediately following the game against the Thunder. So keep it right here, NorCal Sports Network. And uh just want to let you guys know this show is sponsored. We want to thank our sponsor, Chapman Law Group. Yeah. Just check them out in the description of this video, and you can learn all about Chapman Law Group. We thank them as a proud sponsor of NorCal Sports Network. 
So again, guys, uh, like and subscribe to this channel. We're a growing channel. We cover every Golden State Warriors basketball game. Uh, we had a little conflict tonight. We weren't able to make it, but we will be back tomorrow night, Sunday, when we when the Warriors face the Cavs, and then back Tuesday night covering Warriors Mavericks post game after that. So check out our videos. We're putting out lots of video content. So again, like and subscribe to the channel. We would really appreciate that. It helps out the uh, channel, obviously, to, to grow it. And uh, we appreciate your watching. Please make a comment on this video. Tell us your thoughts, what you think about it. Um, we love your comments in the video. We'll try to respond to as many of your comments as possible. And again, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. We will see you in the next video or the next live stream. Okay, take care, everybody.